Hello everyone! Trucha's Gaming here, and today we are back with the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. So, uh, let's call out to Tails, who is our detective. Uh, whoa, look at this place! Hey Tails, where are you? Trucha's Gaming? I'm over here! I think Amy's already gone ahead. She seems really excited. Do you need something from me? Uh, yeah, just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> uh, he's, he's laughing. Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're all just really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about, I promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap a lot in strange spots. He's fine. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game, or is there just something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Can I tag along with you? If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? Oh, of course! Sure! Now, if I ever need a snack, you've got me. Ha! Huh, fair. As I said, the best detectives has sidekicked, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, uh, where's my lower car? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. It, this is true. Ye varmints. What are ye doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. Ahem, <clears throat> enough of that. Wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope, I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Truch is gaming. We need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues, and then interrogate. Right, let's do it. Well, he clearly broke this thing. Clearly, we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damages look more to be caused from... Punches? Who could have done that? Hmm. Hmm. What are you two looking at me for? Smashed Arcade is added to your inventory. Well, yeah... Decent cash reward for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. Poor Omo Chow. Hate to see them like this. What they do? Medical malpractice. Interesting. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, this one's empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. It's as they say. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Ha! <laughs> I think Tails is ignoring me. Breathtaking views. This train passes by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters, though I find myself running on tr on the tracks more than I do riding in the carts. I'll never understand this friend group. Church is gaming. This is interesting. What is it? Just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty? Truch is gaming. This one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone else must have been here. We should log this. Used cups are added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. Nah, I want to keep looking. The robots of uh, The robotic arms here are really helpful. Meh. <laughs> What's the arm doing to my hair? He picks it up a bit. That's incredible. What What interesting tech. Uh-oh. Should I fear for my job a little bit? How can it microwave? I mean, how well can it microwave? How can it microwave? With its fingers! Ah, the bowl of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Kind of bland. Hmm, seems like someone licked all the salt off them. What? Blech. Patooey. Or maybe they're just unsalted. Okay, let's check out our inventory, see what we got here. We got a Super Monkey Ball arcade machine, completely smashed, yeah. Uh, and then lipstick cups, right. Time to talk to Knuckles. 
I thought I told you to leave me alone. Uh, I like your hat. <laughs> Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. Doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we could see it better? I said leave. Talk. What now? Please don't beat me up. No promises. Knuckles, would you ever fight me? No, you bruise too easily. Wouldn't be fun. I bruise too easily too. Guess I wouldn't be fun to fight either. No, I'd fight you. Sorry, Truches Gaming. I wish you luck. He's not actually going to fight me. Right? Can I take your order? Hmm, not hungry. Well, if you ever are, just let me know, won't you? Sure, like a butler of sorts, right? Come on, Truches Gaming, you're not a butler. Tell him that. Uh, yeah, like a butler. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, butler. Dang it. Knuckles. Truches Gaming and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Huh? It, it is? We have evidence, too. We do? Truches Gaming, just take a good look at our inventory. What was it distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? Oh, that's easy. Smashed arcade. Your arcade machine? Ha! Huh. What makes you think I touched it? Seriously? You definitely punched it, Knuckles. You punch everything. And I mean everything. I really gotta focus on this. Like, this is actually kind of tough. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... The arcade cabinet is covered in punches. What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? Hmm. Hmm. Well, what are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. Huh? How are you? I'm on it. Truth is gaming. Distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. Wait, what? Am I punching him? What am I doing? Wait, are we fighting? I don't want to fight Knuckles. That's not something I want to do. Ooh. I got my little hedgehog booty smacked. The arcade machine is fixed. Oh, that's it. Okay, thank goodness. No, don't look at the scores. Quick, look at the scores. I'm pulling it up now. Oh, Vector totally, totally destructimated Knuckles. And by totally, I mean by one point. Okay, what does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name at the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library card. Hmm. The picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. Oh. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Grr. He's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. What's your proof? What's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here now. I mean, are you kidding me? Your name is under his, I mean, for one. Oh. You have nothing. Zilch, not and I'll leave you to. Quit, True Chess Gaming, let's try this again. I just, I just accidentally got a little slow on my, on my clicking, that's all. Ooh. Barely made that one. I have a feeling these are gonna... I hope, I hope, like, you can't actually, like, permanently lose these, because, like, I might, eventually. Now, Truches Gaming, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? Cups? No! I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. While you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday, you and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's, uh, it's not like... It's not. I wasn't. I uh, don't. Don't tell Amy. 
I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say, Vector popped in uh, at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with it. We went back and forth trying to figure out the game, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in, honest. I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story. And Alibi. I've already told you an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But what if the cup with the lipstick mark? Ugh. Rouge was in here too. Huh? It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed, made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink- oh, sorry. Oh, Tails! I'm Tails. But you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up and I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm, I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games, Rouge couldn't find something and then left and the Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our qu- oh, actually. That's not everything, is it, Knuckles? Huh? Huh. I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list. Doesn't it make sense? Trudy's Gaming, can you take a look one more time? An odd name on the high score list? What is Tails talking about? Uh... Uh... Maybe... Hey, uh, autumn? Autumn? Oh, that shadow! Hmm. All the other names have a food theme, but this one. Who here goes by ultimate? You may not know Trucha's Gaming, but there is someone here that goes by that title. The ultimate life form. Th there is really someone here that goes by that? Yeah, he never lets you forget it. Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too. He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then thought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Shadow told me to lock the door and to not open it for anyone, and then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key, too. That's right, the conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rue searching for? I don't know. They didn't tell me. Even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. More information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is in the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Well, do, Sheriff. Come on, Trucher's Gaming, let's head to the library. On it! This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. Trucher's Gaming! C coming! Can I still talk to Knuckles? Ye varmints better pull up chalks, I say. Understood, Sheriff. Yeehaw. Fair enough. Ready to mosey down to the next car? You got it, partner. Onwards! Ooh, how fancy. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already? Oh, I'm not ready for this voice. <clears throat> Already? Before you go, Espier and I wanted to give you your presents. My presents? You're both so sweet. Thank you. Hmm, Vector. It seems we may have more guests. Amy, there you are. Have you found any leads yet? Oh, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl. Ah, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. Ah, yes, the traditional sassy birthday card. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you and quit. But how are you going to leave? Oops. Ugh. But how are you going to leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? The birthday girl has a master key. 
Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course it's a birthday pri- Of course it's a birthday privilege! I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer, and I'm, uh... Here to ask if anyone's hungry. Starb! I'd kill for a chicken parmesan right now. Maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now. I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And I'm Espio, the poet. Ah, poetry. A resonant message from poet to reader, meant to challenge our detective perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? Sure, uh, 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 teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La 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 la, dee dee, dee dee. Hmm, was that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. <laughs> I'm, uh, satisfied for now, thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Truth is, Gaming and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk with us through what happened after Amy had left, after leaving the diamond car, or whatever? Oh, sure. It's simple. We just explained to Amy this, actually. When we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Slonic all passed through this library car. Where Amy told me and Espio to stay. Aye, aye. Promptly picked up a book off of the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yeah. Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search in the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, No way! at the brochure stand over there. But she left back at the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Ruse left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car into the saloon car, where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car again, uh, locking the door behind him. Then returned to the lounge car. We're just meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train spun up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm, with all these locked doors, it seems Vector and XPO couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just gonna peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. And if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I've got you covered. Thanks, guys. Their alibis seem solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves that what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. A tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Wow, I wish I could stop and look at all these books, but Sonic needs me. No time to rest. Alright, let's get a move on then. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through all the book titles excitedly. He's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a train library. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order but this one. The Mirage Express Manual. It's the user guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it's interesting. Let's make a note of this. Okay. What's this bright red book? Oh, yeah, just reads of the evil scientist Dr. Ekman. Yup, this is Dr. Ekman's autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird. This is even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. You may not be wrong. A globe of our marvelous planet. Haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food can't be beat either. Ah, uh, sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia, if you've ever been there. 
I have actually. If you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university, uh, university and say hi to Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area and makes one scrumptious sandwich. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. This group knows everyone and has been everywhere, haven't they? Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling to clean up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just keep, leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. I hate to say it, but there's nothing here. Ah, I really thought there'd be something there. Trish's Gaming, are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? No, no, no. <laughs> all right. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next, next trash bin we find. You really think so? Uh, yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah, yeah, okay, these trash bins hide a secret, I'm sure of it. Trucci's Gaming, you're a pretty unconventional, but I like that. What, was that supposed to be a compliment? I feel like a Pokemon trainer, like I'm playing a Pokemon game, and I'm checking the trash bins for every thing I can find, you know? Ah, uh, let's just take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy, so plush, puts me right in the mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap, personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. Church is gaming, no, don't fall asleep! There's been a murder, remember? If I had a ring for every time a murder ruined my nap time. How many- Whoa, whoa wait, wait a minute, me! How many rings would you have? A chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, hang in there. Wow, I really needed to see this. This little child's hanging in there, refusing to use his wings to fly to safety, because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this child can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way that much thought was put into this poster, right? Ooh, brochures. There are travel destinations ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! Truch is gaming. Look at this. There's a couple of maps here. Seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed below. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. Alright, neat. Should we take this brochure about a cave, too? Look, there's stalactites. Nah, leave it. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, that's that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. Oh, Church's gaming just can't catch a break. So many books on the ground, I wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up, but Rouge put a lot of these out too, searching for something. What reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are also creasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. Oh. Why? I mean, I guess great attention to detail, but, but why? Well, I, I, I'm gonna pick my favorite. Yeah, Gone Gal. Gone Gal is great. Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going in the saloon car. When Shadow left the library car, he locked his door on his way out, but there's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Great. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and Espio to find out what really happened. Huh? Did you bring me any meat to chop? I may be a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. You actually tried to bring a knife on the train? I'm a man of this authenticity tales. Well, a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup stained apron, not a butcher. I think if you had a knife on you, we'd definitely think you were the murderer. Hmm, but what if I hid the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Can I take your order? Oh, yes, please. I'm starved. Actually, I'm off duty at the moment. The murder mystery is more important. Then, then why would you show the menu to me? Come on, Truches Gaming, why'd you tease them like that? And here I thought I could trust you. You made a fool out of me. Look, Truches Gaming, you made him a fool. Come on, Truches Gaming, smooth this over. No, I'm the fool. Yeah! Yeah! I smooth things over, but at what cost? What is this game? Uh, let's do Vector first. Yeah. Oh. So the two of you don't believe us, eh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining some of the validity of your alibis. True just gaming and I are confirmed two things. Why well, Vector was going to play games with Le Knuckles, and Espio was really reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present evidence if needed. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. Huh? Huh? What? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we're introduced to Mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. This seems to line up with the information we gathered from Knuckles. 
And that brings our attention to you, Espio. Rouge entered the library car, found something to the left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was. Hmm? Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop what it's done. I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. Was What was the book? Hmm. Espio doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? Oh, I'm oh, sorry. What are you looking at? What kind of things do you think I read? If you won't talk, I have a hunch on what that book might be. Church's Gaming, could you help me out? Uh, Alright, Church's Gaming. What book do we think SBO might have been reading? Hmm. Yeah, it's gotta be this one. Hmm? A manual? You think SBO was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? I didn't get a chance to talk to SBO. I'm a little sour about that. Oh, snap! Violence! <laughs> You're both grasping! I knew it! We got this, Truches Gaming. Let's try again. Yeah, well... To be fair, I pressed the jump button. I, I, I'm gonna blame the controller. I'm gonna blame the controller. I know it's frowned upon, but I'm gonna do it. Ouch. I don't think this is a good time. There we go. There are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. All except this manual, meaning someone, at the very least, picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. Uh, this lack of attention it, to detail isn't normally like you, Espio. Hey now, I won't have you insulting my pal like- Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, Espio. A, but a, a butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Truth is gaming, if you don't mind. Uh, could you ask SPO some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz SPO about the manual to prove you read it. Which page should I quiz him on? Uh, page... 97. Okay, uh, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. Doing events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterward. I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself. I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like Espio aced that question. Church is gaming. Hit him with another one. Oh, okay, which page do I choose? What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds, and you will be charged a no-show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. Last one, Truth is Gaming. Let's see if SBO can get go three for three. Gotcha, which page should I pick last? Page 402. What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease the general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to assure a smooth travel for guests. I remember this. The train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass your little test? Yes. Totally. It's wild you're able to retain all this information so quickly. A poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. You've clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both have the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly. That's very impressive. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading after, I, after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate, despite being the truth. Hmm. 
Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can- SPO, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading. Yes, that's correct. Problem. Frankly, I don't believe that can be true, and we have evidence to back it up. Truth is gaming. He always puts me on the spot. Okay, Truth is gaming. We should have a piece of evidence linked to someone who saw SPO reading, but what? Shadows lock. Shadows lock. Please pray tell what this has to do with anything. We're up, Truth is gaming. Let's get our argument together. Uh, the idea that two people pass through this car, one of which being Shadow, it's not that hard. I don't need to train my train of thought here to, to I feel like, justify this reach. Shadow walked through the library car to get to the saloon car where he sat the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it! It wasn't the high score alone! Crocs are natural gamers. Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left, Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated, reading his book for a good while at this point. Ugh, we know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Uh, I mean, it was a simple slip-up. I was just fully immersed in my book and I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, I, you see, I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment you were really in the library car at all. But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear True Cheers Gaming. One that I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice Shadow pass through my library car. Honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't! Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting, reading, or did he somehow vanish not to notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? Oh man, I gotta make choices? Hmm. Let's see. Tails is the detective. Tails has no reason... Oh, but is he reaching, though? Oh gosh. He said he saw Vector come back. Shadow left Vector in there and locked the door. Oh, oh gosh. I'm, I'm, oh. Mm. He's getting nervous though, he's getting nervous. When you're getting defensive, I don't know, he's... Oh, gosh. Mmm, okay. Let's see. R Rouge would have seen him too, right? Rouge passed through as well. Um... I'm going to join Tails. No, I can't interrupt Tails while he's on to something. I'll let him continue his line of questioning and... Church is gaming my favorite and beloved employee. Please protect the passengers aboard this train. They must be taken care of. If you fail, the lawsuits will be torturous. Don't allow such an old feeble soul to get sued. I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails! Huh? We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. All right, my fellow associate, lay it on me. What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? <gasps> oh, the library map, duh. All right, now let's get my thoughts in order. Right, right, because uh, there's like bookshelves and stuff that would have been blocking Espio if he was reading right there.
Ouch. Ouch. No! No! No, I felt so close. Let me get another go. I like how I, I I know he's supposed to be like thinking like Sonic, but also I feel like he's actually just playing his game, like it's just a Sonic game. He just owns a Sonic game because it makes him feel like he's thinking like Sonic. library map. Oh. Oh, I see. See the exits? They're right across from one another in a straight path. If Shadow walked down this straight path, there's a way SBO and Shadow couldn't have seen each other. Looks like you have to point out where exactly on the map you meet. Where could SBO have been for Shadow not to see him? What? Not this desk. Uh, maybe at this table. We did talk about that. But it's most likely he was here at this mysterious table. Interesting. That's where I was sitting reading my book. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms it then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one from another from this spot. Because a bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense. Why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio? There's just no way you would have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all of our questions. We did it! Another pair of alibis validated. Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge and especially Shadow. No, it seems the door next to, to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open while she passed through earlier. Then that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and Espio. Give him hat, and if you see any meat chopped up, say the word. Or if you need any meat, if you need meat, call me. I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murderer's on the loose. While doors keep getting locked, tick tock. Tick, tick, top goes the claw, while our heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, Churches Gaming. Let's see what's next. Coming. I didn't get to talk to you earlier, so I'll talk to you now. May the breeze drift you toward success. A one-sentence poem for you. Are italics enough to qualify as a poem? Oh, so, okay, so we, we are breaking the fourth wall here. Got it. Bring me any meat to slice up. Nope, I'm not sure we will, actually. You're lost. You sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? The mystery calls. Okay, the investigation continues. Well, that's enough for this episode. So, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and prosperity. I still don't... Do I, should I just stop at peace and prosperity? Should I? Should I just stop? Because, like, peace and prosperity, it doesn't feel like it's final, but I can make it final. I can... I can make it final. I can do it. I can do it. 